The Interior Department's Inspector General will review Secretary Ryan Zinke's involvement in a whitefish land deal that has raised conflict of interest questions. Zinke and his wife Lola are involved in a land deal in whitefish with the head of Houston-based energy services giant Halliburton, which does lots of business with the Interior Department. As first reported by Bloomberg News, House Democrats have asked, and now the watchdog office has agreed to look into the matter, as to whether Zinke may have used his office for personal financial gain. Internal emails show that Zinke met with Halliburton's chairman and a Montana developer last August. A charitable foundation created by Secretary Zinke and now run by his wife is allowing a company co-owned by the Halliburton chairman and his family to use a portion of its land for development. That according to a letter of intent signed by Lola Zinke. Immediately adjacent to that land is an abandoned mill that is the site of uh, a planned hotel, microbrewery, art gallery and office space. Zinke spokeswoman Heather Swift told CBS News last week the land deal between the Zinke's Foundation and Halliburton, quote, is not a departmental matter.